circuit parameters are a powerful feature introduced in multi-sim that allows you to have increased flexibility when simulating a circuit. Basically, circuit parameters are user-defined variables that you use to assign a custom value to a component value. Circuit parameters provide a powerful option when simulating designs by allowing you to quickly change a number of component values all at once. Or deduce component values based on design performance specifications. Circuit parameters provide the ability to define schematic level variables that can then be easily modified to match homework, lab problems and other parametric analysis of a circuit. Circuit parameters allow us to highlight the key components and variables that characterize the response of a analog and power circuits. With circuit parameters, students can embed variables within a schematic which can be based on theoretical calculation and cascade to all applicable components. These variables can also be used in expressions, so specific circuit characteristics can be determined dynamically based upon other component values within the schematic. This allows students and educators to bridge the gap between theory and the laboratory as well as opens up to the possibility of far more advanced simulation analysis. In this example, we are going to design a simple RC circuit using circuit parameter to place circuit parameters panel on schematic. Open the circuit parameters panel through view then click circuit parameters. Place an AC power source, resistor and capacitor on the schematic. Connect together the components. Open the circuit parameters panel through view circuit parameters. Set the value of R1 to 10K. Set the value of C1 to 1 microfarad. You can modify the RMS voltage and the frequency by double-clicking the component. Select a voltage RMS at 230 volt and a frequency of 50 hertz. Configure our schematic level parameters. R1 equal to 10K. C1 equal to 1 microfarad. V1 equal to 230 volt. Frequency equal to 50 hertz. Reactance of capacitor XC1 equal to 1 divided by 2 into pi into frequency into capacitance. Total impedance of the circuit equal to square root of xc1 square plus r1 square. Total current equal to v1 divided by total impedance z. Voltage across C1 equal to total current into XC1. Voltage across 
R1 equal to total current into R1. have defined our circuit parameters and simulated. Now, we are going to assign these to our components within the schematic. To do this, double click on the resistor in the schematic and set its value to be the corresponding circuit parameter name, R1 in this case. Repeat the process for the capacitor with the corresponding C1 circuit parameters. Analysis the schematic to understand the parameters effect. With the circuit created, we can run analysis models ensure it responds as we expected. Firstly, we will run an analysis to check the voltage and current is that which we specified. One very useful aspect of circuit parameters is we can change the value of components and immediately see the effect this will have on voltage and current. Try changing the value of R1 and C1. View the effect this will have on the voltage and current. This allows us to see the immediate effect.